I traveled down to San Antonio, Texas to meet the Mercado family, particularly their son Diego. This family is a part of the Exceptional Family Member Program, which is a program to help military families with special needs. Diego is just a really cool kid and really hard to keep up with. Watch out. It's not every day you meet a 10-year-old kid that takes the Army more seriously than most soldiers do. Don't worry, just keep on going. How would you explain your son to me? Or that, describe him? That he is a very energetic child. Yes. He is a little flirt, you know, especially with women. Um, he loves the Army. Of course, his dad is a soldier. That's why it has a lot to do with it. So tell me about your pregnancy with Diego. When Diego was born, I didn't hear him crying. So I said, uh, why is Diego not crying? And she said, oh my God, get the doctor. My sister started crying and started running out of the door. And so the doctor comes and he said, well, ma'am, did you take any drugs? I said, no. Did you do alcohol? No. Did you had any weird pregnancy um, history? And I said, no. And so he lift up Diego and he said, well, because he's missing a leg and three fingers. Jasmine shared with me that Diego struggles with confidence. And, and I'm sure that's still something that's there. But, you know, growing up and as he started to notice that he was a little bit different, um, he, he had to kind of find his own way to cope with that. And the, the, the thing is with kids, they don't understand if you tell them, oh, he was born like that. They continue to ask questions, how, you know, because they, they can't understand. Right. So I told them, I said, Diego, the next time a child asks you, I said, tell him the shark bit off your lake. <laughs> so he really did, you know. And this one kid, he asked me, he said, hey, what's wrong with your lake? And he's like, I was in the water, shark bit off my lake. And he's like, whoa, that's cool, you know. And he used that for quite some time and I didn't know that because, you know, it was just that I threw out, you know. Yeah. And he said, Mom, that's how they, but they stopped asking questions after that, you know? When he hit grade school, um, that's when the tables kind of started to turn and he really got uplifted by a teacher that introduced him to racing. That should be good, right? Are you good there? Mm, I don't know. We'll see, we'll adjust it if anything. Um, one day, the riders on the uh, Ride to Recovery, which is a, you know, they. I think they trek from, from Dallas, but they go a long distance. So all these riders, these, these wounded warriors are on their pedal bikes and their recumbents. Um, and as, you know, as he's out there, all of these wounded veterans, all of these riders stopped. You know, they, kind of, like, they stopped in the middle of the race. You know, this is a timed event. <laughs> I met a wounded warrior and then he gave me a bracelet and he said, you are, you are a honorary member of the wounded warriors. I feel uh, pretty happy when, when I see wounded warriors going by me and it's just unbelievable. Diego and Jason have been doing these races for about four years now. And Diego is just really inspired by the wounded warriors and now they are inspired by him. Good, push it, push it. Diego, how old are you? Mm, 10. Your time. What do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, officer in the military. I want to be an officer because of my dad. I'll be just behind you. At one point, I may have had it. I felt it necessary to tell him, hey, you may not be able to be in the military. You may not be able to do this. Because um, I want to be real with him. But that day that, that he was out there looking at all these riders with no limbs or prosthetics just like him, I kind of realized, you know, maybe I don't have to tell him. Through my experience uh, talking to both Jasmine and Jason, they both shared with me that they raised Diego to be able to do most everything by himself, for himself. He fell down, he had to pick himself back up, and that was so hard for them to watch, for them to see, because they wanted to be right there for their son. They wanted to pick him up, and they knew if they did that, he wouldn't learn, and he wouldn't be the strong, amazing kid that I got to meet. 